What's up everybody? A little unexpected video here because our compost is being delivered. I was out in the garden pulling weeds, sweating like crazy, and I saw the compost truck go by, but it passed. So I said, hmm. So I called Hank, I said, hey, I think the compost guy is here. So sure enough, about 10 minutes later, I saw him come back by. So Hank's down there on the tractor and he's showing him how to get in here. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and let you see. All right, our compost is here. That's good. Get out, get him unloaded. All righty, and here he comes. And we're just gonna get him to drop it. Same place he did last year. It's easy for me to get in the gate there and the gate down there, so. But last year I made the mistake of trying to scoop every last little bit of compost and I made a big dip in the yard right here and it, and it holds water when it rains. So this year I'm gonna have to just skim it off, leave a little bit on the bottom to fill this hole in. I know that's an expensive filler, but I was gonna come in here and bring um, some sand or something to put on the bottom to fill the hole, but he came early. So no complaints here because I'm on a deadline and I do need the compost for the sunflowers so here we go in case you're wondering i get my compost it is a uh, cow manure and five percent pine chips mixed together and it's called the wildflower mix and i've used it for the past four years it's from Graco fertilizer in cairo georgia in case you're in the region and that is 30 yards right there and they deliver it cost me a little bit extra to deliver but i don't have to drive to georgia to get it don't have a dump trailer to go get it so to me it's worth it down here in florida that they will deliver it for me so a little bit extra i believe it costs somewhere around 1400 dollars for 30 loads of the cow manure pine mix called the wildflower mix and i've had great great success i think the very first year that i bought from them like four years ago it had some weed seed in it but have not had a problem with it since like last year's compost um, is beautiful like in the greenhouse and stuff i used it and it, it looks really good so no complaints from Graco fertilizer company shout out to them all right so here we go so we have the reason why hank's taking them way around is because we have a septic tank drain field that goes right next to that tree right there and we had a semi run over that one time and smash that and it backed our septic tank up and that was a big mess. So we make sure that we don't let anybody drive over that now. All right, here we go, folks. This is like black gold, I tell you. It's always an exciting day when you get compost, right? We're gonna dump it in this hole right here. That's good. Interesting process how they, yep, that's good. It's an interesting process how they dump this. The little truck, well, not little truck, but the truck has like a track system and it kind of like carries it to the back and dumps it. So again, it's Graco Fertilizer Company from Cairo, Georgia, and they deliver all over the Southeast. Let's see if I can get their door logo so you can see. Awesome company to work with. Ask for Nicole, tell her I sent you. She's helped me for four years now and knows exactly what I need. Cause when I first called them and I first started the flower farm, I had no idea what to ask for. And she's like, how about the wildflower mix? We've had good luck with flower customers with that. 
So that's what I've done. And they got this roller bed on there that's really cool. All right, this might, I don't think this is a dump bed, but it might be, I don't know. But they have one that's kind of a walking floor. It's pretty awesome. Oh, this is the same one, walking floor. Yeah, look at that. Pretty neat stuff. Smells good. I have the feeling like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> it never gets old. When I see this fresh, beautiful black compost, oh my gosh, what I see is beautiful, healthy flowers right there. That is just perfect. Look at that. And so the 5% of the pine chips, they're like really fine, really fine pine chips. So it mixes really, really well. And you don't have to worry about mixing anything yourself. It's just aged cow manure with 5% pine. Mm, love that smell. <laughs> and no, it does not stink like cow manure. It just smells like fresh earth. He said when it gets high enough, tell him and he'll pull forward. All right. This will make it super easy for me to scoop it up with my little T224 TYM tractor and scoot it over to top all the beds off. And then Hank can get the skid steer with his bucket on there and take some down to the sunflower field. So it makes, makes it super easy right here. I just don't want to get it too spread out because then it'll leave a bigger area when I finish. He can probably get the rest of it in this. Yeah. If you didn't know, we have three channels. So <laughs> I have the Flower Farm channel, which is this one, Blackthorn Blossoms. And then my husband has Hamiltonville Farm which is the original YouTube channel. And he has quite a bit of followers over there. I think he's between three and 400,000 followers on that channel. And then, uh, and it's about like heavy equipment and stuff, but then his third channel that he recently started, Hank Hamilton, is all about tractor work. And that's what he's filming for right here, the tractor work, because he'll show when he gets the skid steer and when I get the small tractor. So it's just for the guys or gals that like to watch tractor work what his channel is for. This one is just documenting our flower farm. So I'm glad that you are tagging along. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you'll know when we drop a video. We try to do one, at least one a week in the busy season. And again, if you're new to the channel, we have a sunflower festival in October. 
it's huge. We had like 800 people last year expecting even more. We had vendors and food trucks and of course sunflowers. So that's what this compost is primarily for, is for the sunflower field. And then I'll top all the beds off with it as well. Because of course I'll plant some zinnias for fall and marigolds to go with the sunflowers, but it's mostly gonna be all about the sunflowers this fall. So you might be thinking, well, that doesn't seem like very much compost. Let me tell you, that is a lot of compost. <laughs> the first year I bought 45 yards thinking, there's no way 30 is gonna be enough. I almost never used all that compost up. I ended up like spreading it in our grass and everything because, you know, A, it was in the way and, and it was starting to get ants in it and grass growing, so I had to use it up. So every year now thereafter, instead of getting 45 yards, I've tried to do 30 yards just to top things off. And 30 yards, let me tell you, will go a long way. I mean, look at this. One, two, three, four heels, basically. It's, it's a lot of compost, guys. A lot of compost. And he's almost got to his tarp. Almost done. You know what I'll be doing in the next few days? All right, you can see the truck up there. Let me see if I can get a corner of that. Thank you so much. <laughs> So I already paid for it when I called on the phone two days ago, guys. I ordered this two days ago and here it is. So love doing business with Graco Fertilizer Company out of Cairo, Georgia. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just telling you the success I've had with them and their compost. Just in case you want it for like your flower beds, your garden, vegetables, whatever. It's clean compost and I've never had an issue with like herbicides or anything in it. It's um. Just good, good, good compost. So Hank is just signing the ticket saying it was delivered. And he will be on his way. Look at me, getting all my money's worth right here. <laughs> hey, do you blame me? You'd do it too, wouldn't you? <laughs> Look at Hank, tell him to subscribe to our channels. <laughs> so that is what it's like when I order compost. Just wanted to let you guys see and then I will get busy spreading it and we'll make a we'll make another video on the, that process. It's just kind of cool, huh? And he is gone. Makes he told me it took him two hours and eight minutes to get here from the Georgia location. I told him, you know, make sure he checks out Blackborn Blossoms and Hank Hamilton for the for the video. So he'll hopefully he'll watch that for us. There you go. Now we gotta spread it. Well, thanks for watching guys and just getting a glimpse of this process of the compost and I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, tell your friends and remember, bloom where you're planted.